Hi, this is Jay, and today I'm going to show you the inking capability of the ASUS EPC-T101MT netbook convertible. Alright, I just want to warn you that I'm behind the camera, so I'm not in a very good angle to type on this, or to use the pen. But the very first thing you have to do is open the Touch app and go to Calibrate the screen. So calibrate that. Save the data. I'm going to unplug this. So it'll be running on battery. Choose high for performance and on the super hybrid engines choose super performance mode besides calibration you can also use this program it's called personalized hand handwriting recognition it should pop up if you type hand in the search bar Right here it says, teach the recognizer your handwriting style. And you can choose sentences or write numbers. If you go with the sentences, it'll make you write 50 sentences, but it works well because it will really recognize even your, your messiest handwritings. And I'll show you that in a sec. Alright, first let's try Microsoft Paint this is a resistive screen it's not capacitive it works really well you can draw Next we're going to try Windows Journal. My handwriting isn't that great, but this netbook has the ability to detect your palm when it's in pen write mode, I mean pen mode. So you can place your palm on the screen while writing. This one you can write directly onto the onto the page shown here. So let's say you're taking notes. As you can see, it picked up the strokes. It's really nice. I mean, the responsiveness of the pen is there. That's my name. Next, we'll give Microsoft Office OneNote a try. What I like about this one is that it automatically changes your handwriting and converts it into text. All right, let's pretend we're in class. There's the button for text to, I mean, handwriting to text. Just click here and let's say we're taking notes in English class like I said I'm in a weird angle here so I can't really write it that well alright um, what did we learn in English alright let's say William Shakespeare was born in Stratford upon Avon there are suggestions 
in mm, 1564. Alright, if there's mistakes like that, you can just click on there and change it to whatever you need. Oops. And let me zoom in a little. So I grabbed this book, Tim O'Brien's The Things They Carried. I just want to copy this section of the book and pretend that it's written on the blackboard and see how fast I can write it on this tablet. Alright, let's go starting right now. You can see my handwriting is terrible but once again it is bad but I'm also in a weird angle here and I'm gonna zoom in on the computer and read you what it says on the read to you what it says on the book it says you've got to read this book in a world filled too often with numbness or shifting values these stories shine in a strange and opposite direction moving against the flow, illuminating life's wonder. Using the touch screen for web browsing is also quite easy. Right now I have Google Chrome loaded with the Chrome Touch extension. And as you can see, it works just like a works just like any mobile browsers. You can also do pinch and expand and of course you can switch it to portrait mode and view browsers like that Another cool thing is Kindle for PC. Go to full screen. You can either tap or flick. Once again, the pinching capabilities are there. And you can also read in portrait mode. In my next video, I'll be showing you the Yasus um, touch softwares and as well as some touch applications that came with it.